All right. You guys ready, guys? So on Thursday, we'll go over the quiz. I mean, the mini test. All right. But all those individuals didn't take the test. Make sure. Otherwise, I have to give you zero because you have like six days to do it. All right. Here we go. So I'll make sure you go to page 18. Okay. So page 18. All right. So I'm not going to give the title just yet. So remember what we did before. Okay. Go ahead and draw two parallel lines with the arrow. Okay. And then we, uh, there's a line that crossed, and it was called a transversal, right? So what we did is, for our test, this is what we did. If this was an X, right? If this was an X, and this is a 57 degree, what is X? Right? That's what we did. All right, so all you had to do was draw the circle. These are not interior, okay? Remember, alternate interior means that they're the same. So no, 57, no, it's on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the circle, right? Remember, we drew all a circle, imaginary circle, okay? So we're going to draw this, and then we're going to draw the second circle, and it doesn't matter which circle you want to pull out and place it on the other circle, correct? So if I were to take out the bottom circle and place it on the top circle, the 57 would fall right where? It would fall right next to it, which is called adjacent. They're right next to each other, all right? Which means that X plus 57 is equal to 180, all right? And then you did the work, all right? You guys, remember we did that. Now, some of you guys in the in the test, you did this to all the problems, but that's not the case, all right? And we'll, you'll, you'll see your mistakes, all right? There was only three of them. So those that didn't take the test, there's three of them that are not like this, all right? There's three of them, all right? Three of them. Some of you guys did all of them, so and you'll see your mistake on Thursday. Now, the next level is this part. So this is our flashback. So now the next one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's go ahead and solve it. So what do we do? It's a plus fifty-seven. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract fifty-seven. Correct. Subtract fifty-seven on both sides. And that gives me a zero. That's why I cross it out because it's a zero. And then that leaves me with an X. And then 180 take away 57. So 180. What's 180 take away 57? 123. 123. Very good. So your X is 123 degrees. All right. That's what we did. That's pretty easy. So now. The next level is this. Do the transversal. Okay. Now let's do the same setup. And let's say instead of x, it's um, now it's 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. All right. And let's say this. Uh, sorry, this one right here. It's 5x minus 7 degrees. Whoa. What do, I, what do I do now, right? See? And that's what we're going to do. Well, I'm going to show you how it's like, wow, this is easy. I know. It's easy. So for the most part, you do the same thing. All right? You do the same thing. So what do I do? Again, the circle. The circle, if I were to take out this circle here and put it on top, it would be right here. So 5x minus 7 degrees. See that? So don't worry about this anymore. So this means that this is a half a circle. 
When we add these, it's going to equal 180. The same as what we did here. So 2x plus 3 plus 5x minus 7 equals 180. All right? So you need to know how to do these right here. Bam. So we're going to practice on those. And we're going to practice on somewhere they're both equal. Because remember, not all of them are going to be like this. Some are going to be, oh, those are equal because they're alternate interior angles. Oh, those are equal because they're alternate exterior angles. Oh, th those are equal because they're corresponding eagle, uh, eagles. Oh, my goodness. Angles, angles. I said eagles. All right. So we're going to practice on those, on the setup, so that all we are doing is we're learning the new concept and that's it all right so we're going to go ahead let me go ahead and pause it real quick so these are the different types of uh formats that you're going to use all right so hold on all right cool so now what do we do okay we're we're adding the x's so so we're going to get more practice on this so you're going to add the 2x plus the 6x see it's a plus 6x so 2x plus 6x is, drum roll please, yes, 8x, very good. So go ahead and write 8x, all right? Okay, so we're just reviewing this stuff, 8x, all right? Now the constant, the 13, I'll just put a little cloud, minus 15, well, what's, I'm sorry, did I say 13? 3 minus 15. So remember, I'm combining them, so I could do the T-chart, and that's 3 minus 15, which gives me negative 12, equals 180. All right, you should already know how to do this. We're just reviewing. If you don't, well, get more practice, okay? So now, I want to solve for X, because there's only one X here. Right? There's an X here. Yeah. Um, on the problem, you put five X, remember? Or are you doing something else? Yeah, I'm doing a different one. Sorry. Yeah, I'm doing a different one. So now it's minus 12, so good, good call on that one. So I need to add 12 to make it a zero on both sides. So 8X comes down. And 180 plus 12 is 192. Okay. Now you have 8 and X together. You want to divide them. Right? You want to divide them. So divided by 8. And 8 divided by 8 is 1. Okay. So 1. So now what's 192 divided by 8? Hopefully it works out nicely. 192 divided by 8. Where is my calculator? 24. 24? Works out nicely. Yes. So it's 24. See that? If you know how to do this and you understand this concept, then that's all you need. It's easy. All right? So we're going to keep doing some more problems on that. So let's go ahead and um, let me stop the video real quick. We're solving for X. Solving for X. So what's the first thing we do? Yes, draw the line. Draw the line. Because you want to balance it. It's a balance. Okay? Balance. So now, on the left side, okay, let's combine like terms. The X's with the X's. All right, so what do I have? I have 8x, positive 6x, so 8x plus 6x is what? So uh, let me call some people so I'm not the only one talking. Let's see, Amber, what's 8x plus 6x? Amber, 8x plus 6x. Yes, very good, 14x, don't forget the x. All right, next, then the next one, Davin, I'm going to combine 
2 minus 4. And what's 2 minus 4? Please don't say positive 2. Negative 2. Yes, if you want to do the 2 chart, right? The 2 is on the positive side. The 4 is on the negative side. Who wins? The negative by how many? A 1 by 2. So minus 2 equals 180. Okay. And now, you see over here, it's kind of the same thing. Now, we just got to, what? To circle it. Because my x is over here now. I can't divide just yet. I want to get rid of the minus 2. Right? So, Dominic Bravo. How do I make negative 2? How do I make it gone, disappear, make it a 0? You got to uh, cancel them out together. Yeah, cancel them out by adding a 2. Very good. Nice. So, let me use a different color. Add 2 to both sides. Right? Now, what happens with the 14x, if you bring it down, drop it like it's, what? Drop it like it's high. Here we go. 14x equals 182. See that? You're doing the same thing. So now, see that? Now we have it this form. What do we do over here? We divide it by 8. Here, we're going to divide by 14. 14. 14, because that will give me a 1x. Right? But we don't put a 1. We just leave it x. And now, 182 divided by 14. Let's check that out. It should be a nice number. Yep, which is 13. And there's your answer, 13. Bam. So far, so good? Yes? Yeah, let me go ahead and pause the video. Here we go. All right. So now, let's go ahead and do this one, all right? So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So again, the same thing. Draw a line, right? Because we're trying to balance it. What does that mean again? That means that X, like for other examples, X is 24. That means if I put 2 times X, which is 24, and then you add 3, and then 6 times 24 minus 15, they're both, it's going to balance. It's going to be 180 because on this side you have 180. All right? So that's what it means. Okay? So here, what am I going to add together? Uh, let's see. Drew, Drew, what am I going to add together first? I'm going to add the 4x with what? The uh, 7x. Very good. 4x plus 7x, which is 11x, right? 11x. Good job, guys. And then, now, you guys can cross it out if you want, because you already used it, so it doesn't, like, confuse you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the minus 2 plus 6, right? So, Ethan, what's minus 2 plus 6? Because I could go ahead and do the T-chart. Positive 4 is very good. Equals 180. Right? 180. See that? That's what we did on step 1. So, this is step 1. I'll put A. Now, look at B. B is the same as that. So, what do we do? We circle this. And we got rid of the minus 12, so here, I got to get rid of the positive 4. So how do I get rid of the positive 4? How do I make it a 0? Get out of here. Um, Gabriel, what do we do? What do we add? Another positive 4 or a minus 4? Four? Four. Very good. Because if you put a positive 4, that's going to be 8. You don't want that. You're still going to have it. So minus 4 on both sides. See that? That drops down to 11x, and then 180 take away 44, 180 take away 44 is 176, All right? And the last step, like right here, woo, step C, is we divide it by 8, but here we can't divide by 8. 
we have to divide by 11 because that's next to the x. And that's your 1. So x is 176 divided. Huh? Let me see. 176 divided by 11. Beautiful. 16 is correct, though. See that? If you know how to do this, then you're good, man. And you understand this other thing, you're good. You're like, wow. Why did the other teacher make it so difficult? I don't know. I mean, I guess because everybody's on, say, um, you know, on a pace, so they got to boop, 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 boop. You know, being here at Salazar, we could, you know, take our time with. So go ahead. I like I said, pause this and then do it on your own. Okay. All right. So we're back. Let's see what you got. All right. So let's go ahead. First things first. I draw a line in the middle. Okay. Because when I solve for x and I plug it in, it's gonna balance. So we want to make sure we separate things. So now here we got 2x, and let's see, um, uh, let's see, Jacob, what am I going to add the 2x with? Jacob, Jacob. What am I going to add the 2x with? With the 10x, because it has an x, right? It makes sense, right? You can't add it with 30. It doesn't have an x. So 10x, which is a 12x, okay, and then I could do, oh, sorry, my voice, I could do, I could do 30 plus 6, I could do two lines or three, right, I could do that, or and then take that out, that's fine, so what's 30 plus 6, right, 36 equals 180, and now, now you do the same thing as you've been doing over here. I had a plus 4. I'm going to take away. Here I have a plus 36. I'm going to take away 36 on both sides. Right? Remember on this one I had a minus 12. So I put a plus 12. On this one I had a minus 2. I added a 2. Here I added a negative 4. You see? So that's a 0. Which gives you a what? 12x equals 180 take away 36 so well, i don't know so i'm going to use my beautiful calculator 180 take away 36 144 and then what's the last next step here oh we divide see these two are the same it's different numbers oh we divide by 11 or 12 by 12 and what's your answer Anybody, 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 what's your answer? Type it in, type it in. Bam. 144. Yep. No, 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 no. 144, no. Divide by 12, you, so it's 12. 12, 12. All right. There you go. There you go. So your answer is actually 12. So far, so good? So here, when you have this kind of problem, remember, these are alternate interior angles, which means that they're the same. Right? They're the same. It's not x plus 71 equals 180. No, because what do you mean, mister? Well, because if you were to do this, this x would be right here. So they're across from each other, which means that they're the same, right? So x is equal to 71, right? So now the next level of work is what if it wasn't that simple? What if it was like this? Okay. What if it was um, 4x minus 2? degrees and 9x minus 22 degrees what if it was that it would be the same thing right because again they are called alternate interior angles their alternate interior angles means they're the same 
right? With which you're going to have a song like this. So this is equal to that. So you need to know how to do this type of problem, okay? So there's two type of two forms of the equations that you need to know. You need to know the ones that we just did, combine like terms, which is equals to 180, blah, 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 right? And divide. And then what if there are variables on both sides? Ah, ah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to teach that. So how do you do that? Okay, so let's do, um, let's do number one right here. So we're going to do this one, all right? Oh, sorry, this is equal. So 9x. Minus 22 equals 4x minus 2. Again, first things first. Just like what we did with the other equations, you draw a line. Draw a line. Right there. Don't put 9x plus 4x. No, 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 no. Okay? So now, if you have variables on both sides, okay, you're going to do, you, you want one on the other side. So let's get rid of the X. So I always like to do the smallest one. Okay. So the smallest one is 4X. How do I get rid of 4X? How do I make it zero? It's a positive 4X. Correcto. Nice. Whoever that was. Yeah. So I'm going to take away 4X on both sides. Okay, you see that? Bam. So now I have 9x take away 4x, which is 5x, drop down to minus 22, equals negative 2. Now you do what we were doing over here. 8x minus 12, minus 12 plus 12. Now you do everything you've been doing. So now I'm going to go ahead and circle it. Bam, let's go ahead and circle it right there. And I'm going to get rid of the minus 22 by adding 22, right? Let's go ahead and add 22 to both sides. That brings this one down to a zero, right? What else? What else? Yeah. Bring down the 5x. Yeah. Now, go ahead. Negative 2 plus 22. Do the T chart. Here we go. Here we go. Move on. Positively. Yeah. They won by what? 20. So 20. And then what do we do at the end? We divide because they're together. I'm going to divide by 5. And my answer is x is 4. 4, 4, 4. And then bam. That's it right there. Got it? I'm going to pause the video. Woo! All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and what? Do the same problem a different way. You guys ready? Vamos, vamos, chico. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I got variables on both sides. Mister, what if I do minus 9x? All right, that's fine. Minus 9x. All right, that's okay. Let's take this out. What drops down? Minus 22. Be careful with that, all right? Minus 22, which equals to what? Now, what's 4x take away 9x? Well, I'm going to do a t-chart. So 4x take away 9x is negative 5x minus 2. Now, notice I have minus 5x minus 2. Now the x is on the right side. So let's just keep this over here. So my x is going to be on the right side. That's okay. That's okay. But now I want to get rid of the minus 2. How do I get rid of it? Yeah. Add 2. Add 2 to both sides. Very good. Add 2. 
to both sides. That makes it a zero. Minus 5x equals, now, t chart. Negative 22 plus 2. Negative 1 is by 20. See that? The negative wins by 20 because you subtract. And then, what do I do? Yes, you divide, just like over here, but now it's on the right side. Divide by negative 5. Divide by negative 5, that's the 1. See that? And then negative divided by negative is positive. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Bam. Same answer. 4 equals x, and x is the same thing. It's the same thing. Yee! Right? See that? Okay. So, again, on the first problem, we got rid of the x's, right? We got rid of the 4x by adding a negative 4x to both sides. On this one, we got rid of the 9x by adding a negative 9x to both sides. Mister, what about the what about the negative 22? Can I get rid of that first? Well, let's try it out. Let's try it out. So here we go. So let's see. You know, because I can't combine these two. Let's go ahead and add 22. Oh yes, add 22. That's very good. I understand yet. But don't forget to both sides. Oh yes, oh both sides, everybody. Right. So you add 22 to both sides. See that? Which gives it a zero. And then what comes down? 9x equals 4x. And then negative 22 plus 22. I'm going to do a T chart because I sometimes forget. And my answer is positive, but they want by 20. Okay. So this is the tricky part right here. If you do the numbers first. Some kids... You could take out the, oh, sorry. You could take out the 9, the 9x, nine but this side's going to be 0. You don't want one side to equal 0, so you want to get rid of the 4x, all right? You could do this one, and that's another way to do it. So let's get rid of the 4x minus 4x on both sides, okay? Which makes it a 0. And that's 9x minus 4x is 5x equals 20. Just like here, look. 5x equals 20. Now what do we do? Divide by 5. And your x is what? It's 4. There you go. Look at that. There you go. 4. You got it? Nice. So your x is 4. Now, I'm going to do right here this part. I'm going to write this again. Okay. Watch this. Mister, what if I did minus 9x? What if you had done minus 9x? All right. You did everything, but then you did minus 9x instead. All right then this side would have to equal zero. You have to put zero. You can't put minus 5x and then the equals, you can't do that. It, the equal has to be on the line. So this, because you put not minus 9x, it has to equal zero. It has to. Otherwise, it's going to be wrong. And just do the same thing. And this is your plus 20. So now I want to get rid of the negative 5x or the plus 20. It's whatever you want. I'll just do the negative 5x. So how do I get rid of it? Remember, I'm not dividing yet. Okay. Add 5x to both sides. Okay. Add 5x to both sides. So that gives you 5x equals 20. Oh, look, see? You get the same thing as the other one. 5x equals 20. And then what's the last part? What do I do? What do I do? Anybody? Anybody out there? Anybody? What do I do? What do I do? Um, precious. What do I do, Precious? What do I do? Nimsy. What do I do? What's the last step? Uh, that wasn't Nimsy. Ah. Come on, Nipsey. I don't know if you're there. 
divide by 5. Yes. See that? And again, that's your 1. X is equal to 4. So you get the same answer. It doesn't matter. Don't be scared. All right? Just do... Just pick one. It doesn't matter. Let me go ahead and...